This week, I got an email from my sister-in-law. It was a photograph of my three-year-old niece who had brought her a tray of breakfast in bed. I think the breakfast consisted of a pot of jelly and some custard and maybe a chocolate biscuit, but that wasn't the point. The point was that Kira had chosen, because she loves her mum, to bring her breakfast in bed. And that made me think of our top tip for the week. It is such a great gift to your children to be able to figure out what their love language is. You can tell your child with words, I love you, I love you, I love you. But if a child's love language isn't words of, affirm words of affirmation or words in any way, they won't feel the love as much as they would if you did something for them. So the five lang love languages we talk about are quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service, gifts, and physical touch. A great way to figure out what your child's love language is, is to watch what they do or say to express their love for you and others. It was very obvious as I looked at the picture of Kira and her breakfast, that acts of service is a big deal for her. And she feels loved if you do something for her run a bath, make a sandwich, help her pick out clothes. For another child, it may be quality time. Just sitting in their space, having a conversation, watching them play sport or, or other things. For a child that has physical touch as a love language, when you walk in a shopping center, hold their hand, put your arm around them when you're sitting on a couch. But watch for those kinds of things and be careful of the gifts one. If your child's love language is gifts, that does not mean you have to go to the shop every afternoon and buy them something expensive. A child with gifts as a love language appreciates a handwritten note, a flower picked out of the garden. So watch your children this week. See how they express their love and try and work out what their love language is and then feed into it because Unless we figure out their love languages, we may fail to help them feel loved. And that's probably our most important job. Have a great week.